here to help you on your own path so that you can have your discussions with God and learn to pray like most people don't pray because when people pray today they get on their knees and they pray and they ask for their whatever they want or they need uh, from God and tell them, you know, what, what maybe maybe a little confession, telling them what we've done wrong, and then they get up and they walk away. And God was getting ready to say something back to them. The whole idea of prayer is it's a conversation. It's not a it's not a, it's not a monologue. It's a conversation between you and God. And God will lead you on the right path. He, he laid that path for you when you were born. He, it's all every one of us has a different one. I, as a pastor, can only guide you based on what God has shown me and what, what I've learned in my life. And um, for the good and the bad, I've, I've had my trials, I've had my tribulations, I've had the good and the bad, I've had the, the happiness and the sad, and they all helped me to become the guide, if you will, that I am today. Which is all that I look at myself as. I'm not a mentor, I'm not a, you know, holy leader or somebody to follow necessarily, but I'm just a guide. I'm just here to help you Stay on your path, wherever that may lead you. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, grace and peace to you from God. Men for others. And I, I, I think that that is such an important thing to live. And if we do that every day, just remember that you're not living this for yourself. Do something for others. Don't do it for yourself. It will all come back to you. It will be provided to you. Give to others and it will come back. Mm -hmm. You will have no need to have to worry about things. And it's hard to, to, to put that faith in, in God and in, 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 in that particular statement of if I do for others, I will also receive. So it works, though. Do for others and you will get in return. That's a huge thing for me. That's, that's, a, that's a base, that's a, a cornerstone of our, of our church, if you will. I, religion has gotten such a bad name, you know, uh, because humanity is involved in it. You're going to have corruption. You're going to have um, mistakes. You have all sorts of things that that can happen with, with, with imperfect humans. And God knows that. But sometimes I think we don't. And we look at this book that's been created with human hands, although it's not divinely inspired, still created with human hands. And we sometimes take it a little too far. I think we have to remember that, yes, God breathed life into this book. But there's a lot gone through a lot of hands since then. And although I believe fantastic learning lessons of life, fantastic ways to stay on your path to your God, fantastic ways to learn from others' mistakes in the past. You also have to take it with the grain of salt. You have to learn that interpretations are wrong at times and that pages are missing. And I think if you just learn to, like I said in the beginning, pray the right way, the book becomes a study guide where you can talk to God face to face, right from the man, telephone to telephone, ear to ear, and you don't need a book. All you have to do is listen. Well if people would just shut up and listen, Sometimes. just shut up and listen, mm -hmm. the world would be so much better. And here I go talking and talking and talking. <laughs>